Good evening. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. Our top story at 5:30. We are going inside the fight to slow coronavirus. KPI X Files Wilson Walker on whether it's going to be enough. When you are past the point of containment, your best hope is to slow the virus down. You might have heard the phrase flattening the curve, and I think this animation explains it quite nicely. You don't want the virus to spread so quickly that it overwhelms our healthcare system's ability to treat the very sick. That is what social distancing is designed to do. But two questions out of that. Do we know where we are on the curve right now, and do we know where we are going? Well, of course, hindsight is 2020. We, we never know where we are on the curve until after the curve has been drawn. Dr. Bonnie Maldonado is an infectious disease expert at Stanford University. She says making any prediction about how the virus will spread in the United States is difficult because we are actually watching several different outbreaks at once. For example, in New Rochelle, New York, we know that that's a very specific kind of outbreak and we could ma maybe pattern that one, but that has nothing to do with what's happening in Seattle or in Santa Clara or any other place. So it's really hard to scale up a model that would take into account all the different scenarios across the country. In that respect, she says Italy makes for a problematic comparison with the United States. And while our country has lagged in testing, there is some encouraging evidence at our hospitals. Even with lack of testing, we would actually probably be noticing lots more people that are sick. In other words, we have not seen a dramatic or overwhelming surge of very sick patients. That means social distancing and the other steps we are taking could be putting the brakes on the virus at least enough to keep that curve down. We know that from looking at epidemic curves going forward, that three to four days of intervention can make a big difference between a flattened epidemic and a peaked one. And I do think that we will be able to limit the spread. I just don't know where it will stop. So some optimism there, but then there are the unknowns. How many people are sick right now and simply don't know it? And how does that reveal itself in, say, 10 days? That is the uncertainty we are all living with and will for the next several weeks. In Palo Alto, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.